In the heart of the African savanna, where the golden grasses swayed in the warm breeze and the sun painted the sky in hues of orange and pink, there lived a majestic lion named Kaya. Kaya was known far and wide for his powerful roar that echoed through the vast plains striking awe and respect in all who heard it. His mane, a rich golden mane, flowed like flames of fire as he roamed his kingdom, a symbol of his strength and courage. But amidst this land of raw power and untamed beauty, there existed a creature of a different kind, a small, vibrant red bird named Ruby. Ruby was a songbird, her melodious tunes carrying through the air like whispers of magic. Her feathers shimmered like rubies in the sunlight, a sight that never failed to capture the attention of those lucky enough to behold her. Though they were vastly different in size and strength, Kaya the lion and Ruby the red bird shared a unique bond that transcended their differences. It was a bond of mutual respect and understanding, a connection that had formed over years of coexisting in the same vast expanse of wilderness. One day, as Kaya was patrolling his territory, he heard a sweet, haunting melody carried on the wind. Intrigued, he followed the sound until he came upon a clearing where Ruby perched on a branch, her crimson feathers glowing in the golden sunlight. Ah, Kaya, Ruby chirped as she noticed the lion's approach. What brings you to my humble abode? Kaya regarded the tiny bird with a gentle gaze, his golden eyes reflecting the warmth of the setting sun. Your song, Ruby, he rumbled in his deep, resonant voice. It is as enchanting as ever. A smile flitted across Ruby's beak as she fluttered down to a lower branch, closer to Kaya. Thank you, dear friend, she replied, her voice soft and musical. Your roar, on the other hand, shakes the very ground we stand on. It is a sound of power and majesty. Kaya felt a swell of pride at Ruby's words. He had always taken great pride in his roar, seeing it as a symbol of his strength and authority. But hearing it praised by the gentle red bird brought a new sense of appreciation for the unique gifts each of them possessed. As the days passed, Kaya and Ruby spent more time together, sharing stories of their respective adventures and marveling at the wonders of their shared home. Kaya would regale Ruby with tales of his hunts and encounters with other creatures of the savanna, while Ruby would serenade Kaya with her beautiful songs that seemed to weave tales of their own. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day, bridging the gap between predator and prey, strength and grace. They became inseparable companions, their friendship a testament to the harmony that could exist between even the most unlikely of allies. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the sky in a tapestry of colors, Kaya and Ruby stood side by side, gazing out over their kingdom. Kaya let out a contented sigh, his mane ruffling in the evening breeze. Thank you, Ruby, he said, his voice tinged with gratitude. For your friendship and your song, you have brought joy to my life in ways I never thought possible. Ruby hopped onto Kaya's mane, her tiny feet barely making a sound. And you, dear Kaya, she replied, her voice a gentle whisper. You have shown me that true strength lies not just in power, but in kindness and understanding. And as the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Kaya let out a roar that was not of power or dominance, but of friendship and camaraderie. And beside him, Ruby sang a song that echoed through the savanna, a melody of harmony and unity. For in the heart of the African savanna, the lion's roar and the red bird's song had become symbols not of division, but of the beauty that could arise when differences were embraced and celebrated. And their story, the tale of Kaya and Ruby, would be whispered through the ages as a testament to the enduring power of friendship.